The Ireland side came into the game having won their last hit out against the same opposition last week by 31 points to 20. Coach Colin McEntee made wholesale changes to the team, but Jack Owens was the only one to keep his place and he starts at outside centre this week. Ireland had a promising attack inside the first 10 minutes when the forwards punched holes up the middle. And then out half Josh Bingham floated one over the French winger Blanc's head, but the referee David Proctor called it back for being ahead of the kicker. 14, you're in front. The French side put pressure on and their out half, Meret, chipped over the top, but Stephen Fitzgerald fielded brilliantly, offloading to O'Shea, who made good ground up the middle. He popped it off to Mike O'Donnell, who found outside centre Jack Owens, whose well-weighted kick was scrambled back over the line by the cover defence for a five-metre scrum to Ireland. But the French managed to clear their lines. Carried over by White's green scrum. The teams traded blows for the next ten minutes until a sustained period of pressure and possession for Ireland ended when referee Proctor penalised the French at the breakdown for not rolling away. Josh Bingham from Methodist College in Ulster indicated for goal but he managed to drag his kick to the left of the posts. With half an hour gone, the Ireland backs were offered some space out wide. The ball went through the hands to left wing Kean O'Donoghue, who got inside his man and just about offloaded to Greg O'Shea, who was tackled as he got the ball and couldn't hold on to the pass. And as half-time approached, the French were awarded a penalty for collapsing the mall. They kicked for touch and created another rolling mall. Devergie, the French number eight, came out of it with the ball and managed to offload to their very lively scrum half, Cassin, who wriggled and rolled his way over for the opening score of the game. His half-back partner, Meret, converted superbly from wide on the left, clipping the upright on its way over for a seven points to nil lead going in at half time. Ten minutes into the second half, the Ireland side kicked a penalty to touch and won the line out very nicely. The forwards then controlled the drive almost up to the French line when scrum half Connor Young from Instonians spun it out past the hand of a sole defender to Keane O'Donoghue from Clongos. Wide on the left and he strolled over, touching down, getting Ireland on the scoreboard. Bingham couldn't manage the conversion, leaving the visitors with a two-point lead. With 15 minutes left to play, referee Proctor called the French offside in midfield. No advantage, And Cork Cons, Thomas Quinlan, who had come on for Bingham and out half, stroke his attempt sweetly through the posts putting the home side's nose in front by eight points to seven. The French side slowly grew in confidence and upped the pressure on Ireland's defence. No! Substitute scrum half Merrick sold a dummy and almost got through the gap. And his forwards piled in behind him, but the referee couldn't see the grounding of the ball, giving a five-metre scrum to the French. Boing! Set! The scrum wheeled slightly, offering an inviting blindside for number eight Devergie to pick and go, feeding Merrick, who got it off to his fullback Soares, who powered his way over, giving the French a 12-8 lead. Let him go, thanks guys. Cheers. Merrick missed the conversion, leaving Ireland with a couple of minutes in search of a try. From the kick-off, the French managed to keep Ireland inside their own half, and time was against the home side, and the French got their hands on the ball and put it into the stand. Final score from Templeville Road in Dublin. Ireland under 19s 8, France under 19s 12.